Um, yeah, you know, heck of a college basketball game. I'm really proud of the guys. I mean, we uh, we played extraordinarily well, I thought, in the first half. And then Nickel State, um, you know, did a, a really, really good job of putting us in some positions where, um, you know, we, we were having to stop the ball and putting ourselves in so many rotations. And then we're trying to close out to shooters. And, uh, you know, that's that's, you know, that's credit to their coaches and to their team because um, they're really, really hard to guard off the bounce. And, um, you know, they just continue to drive the ball to the paint. But with that being said, you know, there was a lot of missed shots tonight. And uh, we talked about going into the game that we needed to be at least plus 10 on the on the glass. And uh, at the end of the night, we were plus 12. And I think uh, at the end of the day, that was the deciding factor for us in winning the game. Question for uh, Isaac. I had about right around the 850 mark. I want to say you had like three offensive uh, boards in that possession there. What was kind of going through your mind at that time? I mean, at that time, I just want to go get it. Like, my coach would tell me, like, you know, anytime you sit a ball in the air, just be stronger, go get it. And like, use two hands. That's what like, I had in my mind. I just want to like get a ball and try to score, which I did. And <laughs> it was pretty fun, actually. Steven, you had a stretch in the first half where you got a couple playoffs, also got the dunk in there, Correct one that stretched out for 14. Uh, talk about you know, the ability to dominate inside against them, particularly in the first half when you got ready to stretch that lead out. Oh, just get on the boards more, get all the offensive boards, and just go real hard, wait for the pass, and just my point guard set me up, and I just finished it. You'll elaborate again on the uh, for both players. Elaborate on the fact you guys fourteen offensive rebounds. He just mentioned about the other three re offensive rebound sequence. But just being able to get those extra possessions in a tight game like this, how important was that in order to keep uh, Nichols at bay? It was very important because they were they're a really good offensive rebound team. We told Dakota to be plus ten on the boards today, and we was just playing hard, get every ball you can. Well, elaborate on that. Uh, I mean, like you said, just like the goal for the day was uh, be plus 10 on the board. I mean, I'm glad we got like plus 12, but uh, for sure next time we got to get like tomorrow. We may get like plus 20, 14. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Ty, comes into, you know, Ty comes into the game, uh, seven straight games with at least 20 or more. You hold it to 14 on uh, about 16 shooting. You know, just talk about, you know, for both players, talk about the ability to just keep him under wraps uh, because they really were not able to get anything going uh, most of the evening without him shooting. Well, I'm going to help those two real quick on this one. Um, we talked a lot about ball screen defense heading into this game. We talked about turnovers. We talked about rebounding and we talked about ball screen defense. And between Steven, Isaac, San Antonio and DeLazarus Keys, these guys did a tremendous job in ball screen defense. Anytime you give Ty Gordon space, he's got a chance to make a basket. And these guys, we talk about being up and touching the screener as they're setting the ball screen. And these guys were darn near flawless in terms of uh, their ball screen defense. And that's a credit to them. Um, and that's a credit to the guards as well. But um, you know, I'll let them take it from there, but I, I want to make sure we understand that they did a tremendous job. Uh, the ball, we just have to guard the ball screen defense on him, try to keep him out the paint, don't let him get easy drives through the paint, kick out threes, contain him on pick and roll, and we will be good. Yeah. Nah, not really. I mean, that pretty much he's not here. Oh, uh, he's not here, but uh, Simeon. With 20, you know, he hits, uh, you know, five three pointers, but the biggest three probably was the one after they got it to within 59 57. Just talk about how important that shot was in regaining momentum for your team. Yeah, well, correct me if I'm wrong. It was after an offensive rebound and it was a kick out, right? Which is by far the best time. And we talk about all the time the best time to shoot a three point attempt. Um, but, you know, you got to give these guys credit for going and getting the rebound and then having the wherewithal to kick it out to him. Yes, um, but, you know, you've nickel State, it, it, they had us on the ropes a little bit. And, uh, you know, we stuck with the plan. We get the rebound, we kick it out. And, and Sim kind of sa saves us a little bit, you know, and it gives us a little bit um, of a chance to breathe. Because, you know, when the things get tight towards the end of the game like that, 
Um, it's just human nature that you tense up a little bit and they were, they were flowing. They were doing a good job. And, uh, you know, you just got to give credit to these guys for, for, um, having the wherewithal to, to get it, the rebound and then kick it out and then, and then move the basketball. But, you know, with that being said, Sim is, uh, he's put an enormous amount of time in the gym and, uh, he deserves to make that shot because of the time that he put in. I mean, he's increased his three point shooting by 20 percentage points almost this mm-hmm. year. Um, so you, you've got to give all credit or a lot of credit to Sim, I should say as well. You guys, uh, lost them three times during the regular season twice. You guys had a 10 point lead in those games and they were able to come back kind of the same script tonight. Uh, you know, you know what, what did you, what were you guys able to do differently down the stretch? You thought that, that allowed you to help hold on. In this one? Well, I, I thought that our, our ball scheme defense saved us a lot because in, in the previous games um, they were living at the rim, whether it was off of a drive or off of a ball screen, um, and really the only times they kind of towards the end of the game, they got to the rim were almost a one-on-one play. It wasn't out of a ball screen. Um, so, I, you know, again, I credit these these guys, the big guys and the guards, both with doing a tremendous job there in ball screen D. But, um, you know, I thought that uh, we were a little more patient offensively and we shortened the game a little bit for them to where they, uh, you know, they don't get in the 80s. And they've beat us in the 80s each of the first three times. And, by and large, we want to play fast, um, but you also have to play fast while under control and taking good shots. And, uh, you know, minus four or five possessions, I thought we did that. Any more questions? Yeah, one more. Yo, yo, one uh, more question. Obviously, uh, for each of you guys, you're here tomorrow night. You're one step closer to the championship game. Thoughts on uh, regardless of who you face? Oh, who cares? Let's let's. Play. I mean, hey man, this uh, when we started in in you know we started in June, middle of June, and we started practice and we started getting together and we started forming this basketball team. Um, we talked over and over and over about we have enough in the room, and uh, you know sometimes when that you have all you have 14 new guys or 12 new guys whatever our number is and you have the largest number of transfers in NCAA history or in NCAA this year I should say um, they're looking around like man do we really um, and so we just beat it over and over and over we have enough and I truly believe and these guys believe that we have enough to go win tomorrow whether we play um, Southeastern or we play New Orleans you know we believe that we have enough and with that being said that's two good basketball teams we'll have to square off with with a really good basketball team tomorrow night. But, um, you know, as long as we uh, do our best and give our best, we're going to give ourselves an opportunity to win. Yes, sir.